Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and we're back again with my friend Jack Braviak, and he's doing the front veneer of a stone house. And he's using real stone instead of the fake stone. It's just the thin stuff. We're going to go up to the quarry and show you how we got it. But what did they want for the real stone, Jack? Or the okay, fake? for the real stone, the cultured stone, they wanted close to $9,000 for a thousand square feet. We came up with that estimate. And going to the stone quarry, we bought three pallets of stand up flagstone. As Mike said, it's it's about three quarter inch to an inch thick here, and that came out to between thirteen and fourteen hundred dollars. And the difference with that is this is real stone; it looks twice as better. And the only other thing is the downfall is is uh, the labor is twice as much labor uh, mounting these on the wall. Yeah. So we're gonna go through some stuff and uh, show you how he's doing it, and I'll show you a couple jobs where I did it. So here we go. Okay, we're at the stone yard. Jack's looking at the stone. You picked it out already, right? Yeah. Let me. Uh, we're gonna show you what we're gonna go with. All right. We came up. We decided to get uh, three pallets here, and we're looking at the thicknesses here. As we, as you can see, it's uh, roughly uh, a half inch to maybe possibly an inch. It's just perfect what we want. And this pallet here, this pallet here, and we picked out another one. Right here. Mm -hmm. All right, today we're going to uh, stone face this building right here. And um, as you can see, it's going to be quite a large job. We're talking about close to a thousand square feet of uh, flagstone. And this is the flagstone we're going to be using to adhere to the building. Let's look at the progress so far. Uh, it's still drying a little dirty. But you see, we got the tap cons in here going into the concrete right here and sometimes a stainless steel screw here's another one about every stone or so we put them here so we also could use like the steel fluted nails and they go into block pretty easy like this see how that holds that up Right there. Or if you want the real kind of double protection, you could do something like this. Get some wire mesh and get yourself a washer and go in there like that. They'll also like a wall tie. See that? It'd be like a wall tie. Some middle stick onto that. First thing we do is we make all these scar marks. Okay, when we're doing it this way, we drill in. Then we use these tap cons. See it? They fit right in there like that. And then we just screw it in. Just like that. That'll hold that too. All right, and what we're using here is the uh, spec mix adhere veneer polymer modified masonry mortar. This is, uh, I feel, the best on the market. And uh, we uh, put this up yesterday, and you can't get that off with a hammer. And it's only one day. And then what we do is we add some uh, Portland. Uh, we just add, say, when I mix this whole bag up, maybe two trowelfuls of Portland in it, just as drink in it, just so, so we can sleep better at night. All you do with this spec mix is just simply add water. So we come over here, uh, maybe this one. Or maybe this one. So okay, we wanna make this fit. So we gotta cut it here, cut it here, like that. Maybe cut that off. So we're gonna test it now. See the way that fits in here? Good. 
So then we just chip it up the sides. I'll point towards the camera. Chip those sides up using that part of it. See that kind of faces it up and defines it. So now I'm just going to get regular sponge, not too wet. Wet all that. Make sure you get down in those holes. Like that. And you get your cement, plaster it in there. Just like that. get your stone, get the sponge, and you wet the back, you clean it off, see that, clean it off, and then you get this, put it on the back, just like that, and what I like to do, Fill those joints in first. Like that. Put this in. Shake it into place. That's good. Like that. Check your joints. Go this way a little bit. And then get your little striker, fill it in. We'll come back to that later. All right, what you do is you take your stone and you try to figure out which way possible is the best way to put the stone by flipping it around. And if, even if you want to turn it on the back side to get the right. So let's see, I do believe uh, we're going to uh, Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this right here like so. So I'm gonna mark it here. I'm gonna mark it here so we can put a piece right in there. Gotta keep cutting it to make it fit to your liking or to make it look the right way and right here I think we're we're good, good. We're good right there I'm wetting it up good so this way you know it will stick like so on it like so. All right, all we want to do is put it in like so, and then we like to shake it in here like this. Yep, we got this little brush here, and then just take the back end of the brush like that. We get a little depth to it. Run here, just like that. See that? No big deal. No big deal. And then take our water, rinse the sponge out all the way, go around the edges. That's it. Before you go home, go around one more time, get all the bad spots. We're, we're getting finished here. Uh, we're coming to the completion of this job. And what I did, uh, I made a, put a little design here over the window to give it a, a different effect on both windows. And also we put a little design over the uh, entrance doorway here. This is a stone job I did before YouTube came out. I'm going to point out some things to you. Now this is the same type of stone. All it is is Pennsylvania 
flagstone up above they did some fancy stuff we get down here we see the piers this is the only drawback is it has these little thin things but you really can't notice it so up above the door I did some arches but this is all simple Pennsylvania flagstone so where I live in Pennsylvania this is called Pennsylvania bluestone and it's all over the place a lot of times I'll just be picking up alongside the road or cricks or when they're digging foundations or whatever and I put it aside and I use it on a job. You save a ton of money and it's real. It's not fake, it's real. And you just practice a little bit facing it and you're okay. If I'm going over wood then I'd use metal lat. But when I'm going over masonry I don't. If there's a crack in the masonry then I use the wire lath over the crack and plaster it up but I still pin it even if I'm going over wood I still pin it because I just don't trust that wire mesh someday you're gonna see all that stuff falling off like I said uh, Jack played with the Buffalo Bills back in the 87 he's been on my channel doing a lot of fireplaces and that thanks for watching I'm Mike Haddock I'll see you next video